Hi, I'm going to give you a really quick overview of iTest 4.0 by showing you a hello world test case from start to back all the way into regression. Okay, let's start the new activities view. I'm going to build a topology. So let me name that topology. Demo. Okay, the new 4.0 visual designer can go grab a router. Maybe grab a second router. Let's go link them together. And we are good, except we need to go deal with the fact that the router doesn't have a session yet. So let's add a session to that router, meaning a way for iTest to talk to it. Uh, I'll use Telnet, so 10.155.2.5. Okay, now I've got my topology. So let's create a test case. We'll call that TC001, and I'll use the new topology I just created. Okay, I'd like to populate it, so I'll use Capture. And now looking at my visual topology, and I'll start a session with that router. Let's pull up the version information, and let's get some counters. Okay. And we're all set there. Okay, so now we've got stuff in captured that I wanted. Let's push it into my test case. Okay. Now I'd like to add some analysis. So let's validate something. We'll pull up the version information. And let's go check the model number. Okay. Okay, now I have a test case doing some analysis. Let's go back and let's execute it. Okay, we see it happening, and sure enough, there's my correct result. We can have a quick look at the test report. Looks as expected. All right. Now at this point I have a working test case. What would I like to do is I'd like to be able to push that into regression. Let me give you one example of how that would happen. I can take my workspace, take the project and has all those files that I've just created and export it into a Fanfare ITAR file. So I pick my project. I've already previously selected my ITAR directory for where I'll put them. And there we go. I now have that project pushed off onto the disk. So if I now bring up a command prompt, we have a command line utility itestrt, itestrt, and I can get a list of all the projects that it knows about. Because I've pushed this into an itar directory, it knows about my project and it has resources available all the time, so I can now run my test case. No, need to know the URI for getting to that test case, which is in the My Project project, and we called it tc001.fftc. Okay, this is now opening up that ITAR file, pulling out all the resources it needs, verifying them, and then it's going to be ready to actually run the test. Now, in a normal case, it will have probably several tests that's running out of there, but this is a quick example. So now we can see that it actually ran that test. We see the same analysis, very similar to what we saw inside the GUI. We've executed the test. It looks all good to go. So there's a very quick view of iTest 4.0 that in just two or three minutes we created a new topology visually, created a new test case, added analysis to the test, debugged it, made sure we have everything to go, exported that project into an ITAR, and actually ran that test from the command line. So stay tuned for a lot of other segments, but this is a quick view of how to use iTest uh, to create a hello world test case. Thanks.